Einstein says we live in a four-dimensional world. We can go forward, backward, left, right, up, down, and the fourth dimension is time. But now we're beyond Einstein, and we have to go beyond four dimensions to perhaps, let's say, 10, 11 dimensions. But where are these other dimensions? We think they have curled up. They're so small that you cannot enter them, but perhaps we can feel their effects. And where is this other dimension? It is off the plane of your universe. Perhaps a parallel universe hovering right above your universe in another dimension that we cannot see or touch, but perhaps there's a gateway connecting them. That gateway is the wormhole. It was Einstein himself in 1935 who introduced the concept of a wormhole, a gateway between higher dimensional universes. What if I told you that modern quantum computers have just uncovered evidence of a fifth dimension? And what if this discovery aligns perfectly with knowledge passed down for thousands of years? For centuries, the ancient Egyptians believed the Eye of Horus was more than just a symbol. It was a gateway to higher realms of existence. But now cutting edge quantum experiments are revealing something astonishing. Were the ancients right all along? Even world-renowned physicist Michio Kaku has been stunned by these findings as quantum physics and ancient mystical teachings converge in ways no one ever expected. And wait until you see how a quantum computer not only predicted the existence of a fifth dimension, but may have even interacted with it, just like the ancients described. If you're fascinated by the intersection of science and ancient wisdom, hit that like button and subscribe. It helps us bring you more mind-blowing discoveries every week and let me know in the comments if you believe higher dimensions exist. To understand how this is even possible, we first need to explore why a hidden fifth dimension has always been part of the universe's secret structure. For decades, scientists have suspected that our universe may contain hidden dimensions beyond the familiar three of space and one of time. Einstein's theory of relativity describes a four-dimensional space-time fabric, but certain equations hint at the existence of at least one more dimension that we cannot perceive directly. Meanwhile, string theory, a groundbreaking framework attempting to unify all forces of nature, goes even further, suggesting that multiple hidden dimensions are essential for the universe to function mathematically. These dimensions, though invisible to us, could be curled up at subatomic scales, influencing reality in ways we are only beginning to understand. But what if the idea of extra dimensions isn't new at all? Long before modern physics, ancient civilizations seemed to describe similar hidden realms using symbolism and mysticism to explain concepts that science is only now catching up to. Take the Eye of Horus, one of the most famous symbols in ancient Egyptian culture. While commonly thought to represent protection and wisdom, some researchers believe it could be much more than that. Egyptian hieroglyphs suggest that the Eye of Horus wasn't just a spiritual icon, it was a representation of human consciousness accessing higher realms of existence, possibly even an ancient model of extra-dimensional awareness. Could it be that ancient civilizations already knew about these hidden dimensions, but explained them through mysticism? Recent breakthroughs in physics seem to confirm that forces beyond our perception are shaping our universe, much like the ancient Egyptians believed. In fact, leading theoretical physicists like Brian Greene explain that in string theory, extra dimensions may be real, but exist at scales too small for us to detect directly. But what happens when we use the most advanced quantum technology to test this theory? The results may change everything we know about reality. For decades, the idea of extra dimensions remained purely theoretical, an abstract concept in the realm of advanced physics. But that all changed when scientists conducted an unprecedented quantum computing experiment. Using an advanced quantum processor, researchers simulated how subatomic particles behave under extreme gravitational conditions. What they discovered was shocking. The data suggested that a hidden force was influencing these particles, something beyond the four known dimensions of space and time. The results behaved as if a fifth dimension was subtly shaping reality, just as string theory had predicted. If this discovery holds up, it could mean that hidden dimensions aren't just mathematical abstractions, but real, tangible aspects of the universe, ones we might one day interact with. And strangely enough, this aligns with ancient mystical traditions. The ancient Egyptians believed that activating the Eye of Horus connected an individual to higher vibrational frequencies, 
potentially unlocking access to hidden realms of existence. Many scholars argue that the Eye of Horus wasn't just a religious symbol, but a representation of sacred geometry, one that eerily mirrors the mathematical structures physicists now associate with extra-dimensional space. So could quantum computers be unlocking ancient knowledge hidden within the fabric of reality? This discovery is forcing scientists to reconsider long-dismissed mystical ideas, and it raises a profound question. What if the fifth dimension isn't just out there in the universe, but something within us? What if the key to accessing the fifth dimension isn't hidden in distant galaxies or complex physics equation, but within our own consciousness? Ancient civilizations seem to believe this was possible. The mystery schools of Egypt, India, and Tibet all spoke of higher states of awareness that allowed individuals to transcend ordinary perception and access deeper realities. The Eye of Horus in particular wasn't just a symbol of protection. It was believed to be a tool for activating the human energy field, aligning the mind with hidden realms of existence. Some esoteric traditions even describe the concept of a light body a higher dimensional form of ourselves that exists beyond the physical plane. Modern science may be catching up to this idea. Some physicists speculate that consciousness itself could be a quantum process, capable of interacting with dimensions beyond our everyday experience. Theories like ORCH-OR, Orchestrated Objective Reduction, proposed by Roger Penrose and Stuart Hameroff, suggest that the brain functions like a quantum computer processing information in ways that defy classical physics. If this is true, then our minds may already be tapping into higher dimensional information without us even realizing it. Could this explain extraordinary human experiences, intuition, remote viewing, or even the feeling of deja vu? And if so, is it possible that ancient civilizations understood how to access these hidden dimensions through meditation, sacred geometry, and consciousness expansion? If the human mind truly has a connection to the fifth dimension, then what does this mean for our understanding of reality itself? That's where things get even stranger. If a fifth dimension truly exists, it could fundamentally change how we understand reality. We already know that quantum mechanics challenges the way we perceive the universe. Take quantum entanglement, for example. Two particles can be instantly connected across vast distances, defying classical physics. What if this mysterious connection is actually happening through a hidden dimension? Some physicists even speculate that what we experience as time might be an illusion, and that the past, present, and future could all coexist within a higher dimensional structure. This could also explain bizarre phenomena like the Mandela Effect, where groups of people seem to remember historical events differently, as if reality itself had shifted. Could these memory discrepancies be the result of subtle interactions with a fifth dimension? And what about precognitive dreams or sudden intuitive insights? If information from the future is somehow embedded in higher dimensional space, then perhaps our consciousness occasionally taps into it, just like ancient mystics believed. But here's the real question. If ancient civilizations already understood these hidden dimensions, did they also know how to access them? Many spiritual traditions emphasize meditation, sacred geometry, and energy activation techniques designed to alter consciousness. Could these practices be ancient methods for navigating the fifth dimension? Modern research into consciousness is beginning to suggest that our minds may be far more powerful than we ever imagined. And if that's true, then we may be on the verge of the most profound discovery in human history, the realization that science and mysticism have been telling the same story all along. Quantum physics and ancient wisdom seem to be converging on a single truth, the universe may be far more complex than we ever imagined. The existence of a fifth dimension, once considered purely theoretical, is now emerging as a serious possibility in both cutting-edge scientific research and ancient mystical traditions. If quantum computers are detecting hidden forces that behave as if they originate from another dimension, could this mean the ancients were right all along? The Eye of Horus, sacred geometry, and energy activation rituals may not have been mere symbolism, but early attempts to describe a reality beyond our own. If this is true, the implications are staggering. Could accessing the fifth dimension be the key to unlocking new technologies, understanding consciousness, or even reshaping our perception of time and space? 
If mystics and physicists are unknowingly describing the same phenomenon from different perspectives, then what else might ancient knowledge have to teach us? Now the question turns to you. What do you think? Could a hidden fifth dimension explain the greatest mysteries of physics and spirituality? Let us know in the comments. We're eager to hear your thoughts. And if you found this mind-blowing, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss an episode. The universe still holds countless secrets, and together, we're just beginning to uncover them. If the discovery of a possible fifth dimension is real, it could change everything we know about science, consciousness, and the nature of reality itself. Quantum physics and ancient wisdom may not be opposing forces, but two perspectives describing the same hidden truth. Could this be the missing key that unites science and mysticism? And if so, what other secrets of the universe are still waiting to be uncovered? Now it's your turn. Do you believe the fifth dimension is real? Could ancient civilizations have known about it all along? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Your insights might even be featured in a future video. And if you found this deep dive fascinating, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications. We explore mind-blowing discoveries every week, and trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next. Next up, what if the fifth dimension isn't just out there, but inside us? Stay tuned.